It's September and we're kicking things off with cardio. No equipment needed, so let's go. All right, killer bees, let's go ahead and get moving and grooving. And that means that we are getting started with some arm circles with high knees. You guys, welcome to September and welcome to the workout. I'm Paula B. I'm your best middle-aged fitness friend. And around here, we are all about making peace with our menopausal body by finding a healthy weight and moving in ways that feel like self-love. And today, Today, cardio is gonna feel like some self-love. <laughs> it might, it might at different times feel a little, shall we say, complicated. <laughs> I know you can't see it. <laughs> right now. Blossom is literally right at my feet. I mean, she's just off camera. If she moves at all, I think you're going to be able to see her. And frankly, I hope she does move at least a little bit because otherwise I'm accidentally going to like, I hope I don't, well, I'm not going to kick her, but I mean, she's right here. And sometimes, sometimes this is the way workouts go. Am I right? We just have to make do with what is and hope that it all works out for the best. <laughs> Today is gonna to be so much fun. I've got the handy dandy gym boss here set for intervals of 20 seconds. Let's go ahead and do some arm crosses with booty kickers. And none of those is rest, and none of these intervals are going to be any kind of repeat at all. You guys, I am staring down the barrel of three whiteboards full of teeny tiny writing. <laughs> That's gonna be my other challenge for the day, is figuring out where I am and what we are doing. But here's what I wanna tell you about today's workout, no matter what. Enjoy yourself, have fun. I've got a couple of new exercises for us. If you can't get it in the 20 seconds, there's no test. There's no reason to worry about any of this. Some of the transitions are gonna be awkward. Sometimes we're gonna be like, kinda of standing around scratching our head, like what am I trying to do with my body? Body, my feet and my hands. Don't worry about any of it. The whole point of today is to really just have a very good time. Let's go ahead and do some welcome to my homes because welcome to my home. Welcome to Blossom on the ground, unable to see her. Oh my gosh, the very first exercise. I'm looking at my whiteboard. The very first exercise, I'm gonna like be right in her space. <laughs> Blossom, did you wanna come sit on the chair, please? She does not, she could not possibly care less. So I'm just gonna do my best. We're all gonna have a good time with this, right? The thing about today's workout is that it is all about continuing to move. If you have trouble with any of the exercises, just walk or just do whatever is your favorite thing. There's no repeat of any of these exercises today. So no matter how bad the 20 seconds is, it's only the 20 seconds. We're gonna move on to something else. So we're starting it off with everybody's favorite, the one, it's still a struggle for me too. We're doing wide walking stars. We're gonna step out with one hand and one foot and then out with the other hand and the other foot and then in and then in. And then we're gonna switch leader hands and leader feet. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep moving. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get going. So out, out, in, in. Switch your leader feet and thinking about it. Okay, <laughs> I gotta get in the rhythm of this, but here's the thing. It's only 20 seconds. The next time it beeps, we're gonna move on to something else and we're never coming back, well, at least not today, Day, to these wide walking stars. Coming up next, we're gonna do kick jacks, which means that we're doing, our hands are doing jumping jacks, our feet are doing kicks. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna go sideways a little bit here. <laughs> I know you can't see it. This is the real problem with where I set my camera is that you cannot see the dog at my feet. When it beeps again, we're doing punch down, tap outs, which means that we're gonna be punching down with one hand while tapping out that same foot out to the side. I always get a little bit of a jump here, but I tell you what, you guys, today, there's really no jumping. This is all low impact cardio. There's no transitions to the ground. This is meant to be fun and sweaty by the time we get through it. Coming up next, we're gonna do rainbow jacks. Hands are gonna be going up over your head like a rainbow from side to side. We're pulling up one knee out to the side and then one knee out to the side the other way. Now you've noticed, I know I've noticed, <laughs> my heart rate has already come up. I'm gonna slow this down just a little bit. When it beeps again, we're doing reach across high and low, which is exactly what it sounds like. You're gonna reach across your body, high on both sides. So reach across, reach across, then we're gonna reach low and reach low. Now how high you go and how low you go, totally depends on you, totally depends on what kind of a day you're having, your mobility, your ability to reach high or low when it beeps again. We're doing bug slappers. We're gonna start with our feet together and hands 
Oh my gosh, so hands don't actually do jumping jacks. I was totally trying to do jumping jacks. They actually only come up into like an X. As we step out to one side, we're reaching down to that opposite foot, as though we are slapping a bug <laughs> off of our ankle, which is where bugs always try and get me. Coming up right now is skiers. Your opposite hand and opposite feet are going at the same time. Hands are going up and down right in front of you. Feet are shuffling underneath you back and forth. When it beeps again, we're doing can-cans. It's a knee and a kick on one side, and then a knee and a kick on the other side. And the thing about today is that I am doing this at a moderate rate for me. So here's our can-cans. It's a knee and a kick and a knee and a kick. And my moderate might be very different from your moderate. And the reason that we are going moderate, when it beeps again we're doing forward hinge arm flappers, is because at this age, at this stage, for this goal, and by this goal, here's what I mean, forward hinge arm flappers, your hands are doing jumping jacks, your lower body is doing a deadlift, push back with your hips and forward with your hips. For me personally, I am maintaining my weight really, really happy with my weight and my fitness right now. So I am not pushing myself beyond my abilities. Coming up right now is day breaks. Hands are going up overhead like a rainbow, like we're singing along to my favorite Barry Manilow song, Daybreak. <laughs> Feet are just tapping from side to side. When it beeps again, we're doing pop a squats. <laughs> and I said it like that very carefully. <laughs> As opposed to father squats, we're not popping. Well, we are popping a squat. It's a little squat, not all the way down, not trying to get your hips down or your legs parallel with the ground. It's a little pop and a squat back up. Hands are going up and down in front of you. It's your hands, you probably notice, that are actually causing your heart rate to come up. When it beeps again, we're doing pretzel jacks. Hands are doing jumping jacks. We're going to do a lot of this today. <laughs> Lower body is making a pretzel on one side and then a pretzel on the other, bringing the heel of your foot to wherever you can, your thigh, your knee, your shin, your ankle on the other side. When it beeps again, we're doing big arm side shuffles and I am going to step on my dog. <laughs> so here we go, shuffling from side to side. I scooted back a little bit, which makes my space here much tinier. I'm not shuffling quite as wide as I sometimes do. <laughs> Hands making a nice big circle in front of you. Core is pulled in tight, shuffling from one side to the other. When it beeps again, we're doing middle skips. It's just like skipping, except we're not jumping. Your opposite hand, your opposite knee, coming up at the same time, kind of swinging those hands, having a very good time. When it beeps again, we're doing twisting kicks. Now, my friends, the thing about moderation at this age, at this stage, for this goal, is that this is what works for us now. For me personally, here we go with twisting kicks. As I mentioned, I'm maintaining my weight. Now, if that is your goal, or if your goal is to lose weight, moderation every day is a great way to get exactly where you wanna go. When it beeps again, we're doing upside down jacks. Hands are gonna start up overhead, feet together. As we bring our hands down in the jumping jack motion, we're gonna step out out, all the way to one side, really transferring your weight over, really thinking about where your balance is, really finding your core, pulling it in, making sure, who doggies, that you are moving at a pace that feels good for you. When it beeps right now, we're doing dancing X's. Hands are wide, feet are wide, bringing your elbow and your opposite knee to crunch in the middle. When it beeps again, we're doing ding-dongs. Your hands are going to be swinging low, meaning not over your head, but they're actually going to come up pretty high from side to side while they swing one way. Whew, that same leg kicks out to that side. You guys, I'm going to say it out loud. Most of these transitions have not been too bad, but here we come into some tough ones. Coming up next, we're doing butter kickers, which means that our hands are going to be doing butter churns, meaning that you're going to go from your chin down to your hips. While your hands are going up and down in front of you, one leg at a time is kicking behind you. Coming up next, we're doing disco dancers. We're going to reach out to one side with our disco finger while we're tapping out the opposite foot, the opposite direction. So reaching out on both sides one way and then the other way. Excellent job. 
I'm going to beep this again. We're doing toy soldiers, and I'm going to finish telling you about why moderation is so good for us at this age. My friends, your body can still do everything that it used to. You can go hard. You can lift heavy. But here's the thing about toy soldiers. Opposite hand reaching around towards your opposite kicking foot. Your body, my body, our bodies with less estrogen than they used to have take a lot longer to recover. When it beeps again, we're doing something I'm calling clappers and tappers, which means that our lower body is tapping from side to side while we are clapping our hands in front of us. It's a nice wide clap, opening up as wide as you can and tapping that foot from side to side. Awesome job. Oh my gosh. I really thought this one was going to be a lot more difficult to get into and out of. Pretty proud of myself right now. I'm going to say it. <laughs> babes again. Here's Drinky Bird Jax. My friends, for those of you who don't care for Drinky Birds, oh my gosh, watch out, Blossom. For those of you who don't care for Drinky Birds, help yourself to any other exercise. It's not about the Drinky Birds. It's about practicing your balance, pulling in your core, moving at a pace that feels just right for you. When it beeps again, we're doing booty kicker elbow swings. So elbows are swinging forward and back. Booty is being kicked <laughs> behind you. <laughs> My friends, the thing about not recovering is that over time, it can lead to a lot of detrimental effects. That whole not having estrogen thing. By the way, when it beeps again, we're doing punch, punch, kick. So we're going to punch, punch, and kick. Punch, punch, and kick. I had to think about that a lot. We're going across your body and then across your body back the other way. If you got started wrong, in the middle are wrong, whatever, wrong, wrong. <laughs> There's no such thing as doing this wrong. You're punching and you're kicking. It's all good. When it beeps again, here comes shooting stars. It's a lot like disco dancers, except that foot that was just tapping out. Ooh, he's now kicking out to the side. You are flying with these shooting stars. When it beeps again, we're doing letter K's, hands up overhead, one hand and one leg coming out to one side, forming the letter K on one side and not the letter K on the other side. And of course I said that on the wrong way. <laughs> because that is the letter K. <laughs> My friends, that dwindling estrogen and the lack of being able to recover as well as we used to. When it beeps again, we're doing curtsy jacks. With my limited space right now, I'm actually just going to basically do step back jacks. Hands are doing jumping jacks. Feet are stepping back and out to the side. I'm going to try really hard not to kick anything or hurt myself or the dog. <laughs> when it beeps again, we're doing push, push, crunch. With that lack of estrogen and the lack of recovery that we used to be able to do so quickly when we were younger, comes a couple of different problems. Here's push, push, crunch. We push, we push, and we crunch. There's the problem of getting injured. When your body isn't recovering, it means that it's not repairing itself. It means that all those little niggling, oh, I'm kind of sore, I'm kind of not quite right, can turn into injury. Right now we are doing, oh my gosh, we're doing, oh, I'm super far down, we're doing double knees. <laughs> That took me forever to figure out where we were. I was like, wait a second. Push, push, crunch. That, oh, I was reading punch, punch, kick. That's why I got so messed up. Here's double knees coming up next. We're doing half jacks. It's half of a jumping jack, the right half and the left half, which I said wrong. <laughs> it doesn't matter. What if it was again, we're doing close squat swings. You're going to have your knees and feet close together, coming down into like a little bit of a half squat. Your hands, on the other hand, are going to swing from down below one hip as you're down in the squat, way up overhead, and then down below the other hip as you're squatting again. Going from side to side, whew, basically forming a giant upside down V. What if it again, we're doing chicken wing side kicks. Hands are going to be directly underneath your chin. Chin. Elbows are going to be flapping like chicken wings while we kick to the side. Nice job. Doing some pretty good transitions here, if I can read my list. Coming up next, we're doing front clap kickers. It's another new one. It's exactly what it sounds like. We're doing that wide clap with a front kick this time. So thinking about having your hands out wide and then clapping in front of you. Oh, wow, kicking. Feel how different that is. Use your abs. 
pull in that core, my friends. When it beeps again, we're doing diving airplanes. Gonna have your hands out wide like an airplane as we tip from side to side like an airplane should never do. We're gonna reach down towards our opposite booty kicking foot. Does not matter to me at all if you actually touch the foot. Not really the point. We're pulling in our core, we're moving at a brisk pace that feels like our moderate so that we can recover from it and not get injured and actually meet our fitness goals. And here comes cheerleader kicks. Hands start at your shoulders and go up overhead while we kick out one foot at a time, both hands together, doing such a good job. This next one, I'm already nervous about it. I've been nervous about it since we started moving. We're doing the Charleston. You guys, I cannot change leader feet on this. So forward, forward, kick, back, back, kick, back. Now, usually I'm very careful about changing leader feet. If you need to balance this out some way, you help yourself. When it moves again, I'm going directly into windmill tap backs. Gonna have your hands nice and wide, your feet nice and wide, reaching your opposite hand down towards your opposite foot, trying really hard not to kick the wall behind me or the glass case or the chair or the dog. Tell you what, this very limited space today has taught me just how much we can get done in a very small space. And coming up next is walking stars. So forward, forward, back, back, up, with your hands, down with your hands. It's just like those wide walking stars, except it's the right way to do them, right? <laughs> We've been doing walking stars for years. Those wide walking stars were very different. Coming up next, we're doing disco dancers. So we've got our disco fingers going from side to side and we're reaching out and we've already done disco dancers. That's hilarious, you guys. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that there was gonna be one exercise that I accidentally double dipped. Well, this would be a great time to do the Charleston backwards if you'd like to. <laughs> Here's alley-oops. Your feet are nice and wide. We're swinging from side to side down into one lunge on one side or not. You don't have to lunge. You are absolutely welcome to simply pivot and bring your hands up and down, up over your head, down the other way. When it beeps again, we're doing low swinging tappers. Hands are swinging from side to side, low meaning not up overhead. Whoo, doggies, and your feet are tapping. Yeah, this is a great way to bring your heartbeat down a little bit if it has gotten a little bit too high. When it beeps again, we're doing step back front punch. So it's exactly what it sounds like. <laughs> we're gonna step back while doing a front punch. My friends, my friends, this is the thing about a workout like today. This is all about having fun and not pushing yourself too hard. When it beeps again, we're doing kicking welcome to my home, which is exactly what it sounds like. We're doing a welcome to my home, but we're kicking instead of whew, bringing that leg back. Oh my goodness. It's like welcome to my home and now get out. You guys, at this age, at this stage, with this goal, when it beeps again, we're doing V reaches. It's a squat, but you don't have to squat very low. We're making a big V with our hands, reaching out to one side, squatting down, and then up and out to the other. I like to get a nice little tap with my foot here from side to side. The reason that we keep things moderate and have so much fun while we're working out is so that our bodies can recover from it. When it beeps again, we're doing swimming frog which means hands up overhead, elbows coming down nice and wide while we bring up one knee out to one side and then one knee out to the other side. We're transitioning from swimming frogs into dancing frogs. And I call it the dancing frog because of that old Bugs Bunny cartoon. So we're gonna kick and reach with our opposite hand. So one hand goes up while the other hand goes out in front of you. That kicking leg in front of you is opposite of the hand that is reaching out. When it beeps again, we're doing reverse ding-dongs. Feet are gonna kick one way while hands swing the other. It's still a ding-dong, but it's backwards. 
<laughs> this is when we really start using that brain-body connection. And my friends, that is actually arguably more important than the workout itself, is knowing what your body is doing and being able to move and transition from one exercise into another where we're practicing balance here and practicing pulling in our core there. Here we go with, with squat jacks. When your hips are down, your hands are down. When your hips are up, your hands are up. I like to step side to side a little bit. You are welcome to do this in whatever way feels best to you. And if that means that you're not squatting at all, but rather just kicking, you help yourself to that, my friends. When it beeps again, we're doing overhead to high knees. Just what it sounds like, hands up overhead, down to one high knee at a time. You guys, you guys. This got nice and sweaty. And if we're keeping it nice and moderate, we can put forth another effort, a lot like this, tomorrow. When it beeps again, we're doing low swinging heel digs. So hands are swinging from side to side, low, meaning not over your head, while one foot, one heel, taps out in front of you. When it beeps again, okay, we're doing something else new. It's a front raise, side raise, jack which means that one hand is gonna go front, one hand is gonna go out to the side, and while you're doing that, the opposite foot is kicking out. Okay, <laughs> now this one actually requires a little bit more space, and I'm gonna tell you, oh my gosh, we are so close to being done. When it beeps again, we're gonna walk for 20 seconds, and that was on purpose. That was for me to be able to get my head and my body all aligned again. I've got one final thing for us. When it beeps again, we are done. We're not quite finished. When it beeps again, we're doing some balance work because that, my friends, is one of the most critical things that we can do at this age, at this stage for this goal. We're doing around the world taps. I'm gonna start with my left foot on the ground. I'm gonna tap forward, tap side, tap back. Forward, side, and back, my friends. When we keep our work nice and moderate, we are still getting all of the health benefits, all of the fitness benefits, all of the weight loss benefits, and we can be consistent. Here we go on the other side. This is it, you guys. This is our last exercise, our last interval. The next time it beeps is the last time it's going to. Hold that core in. Be thinking whew, about your balance. Doing such a good job, my friends. Ah, and that was it. Okay, right? I know. <laughs> always have such a good time when we do cardio. And my friends, this, ah, this was just right today. The fact is, you can go harder. You can do more, but you don't need to. And that is the beauty of these moderate workouts. You can get everywhere you want to go. You can get every goal you want to get and stay within the fun zone, within the moderate zone, and have a good time while you're working out. You guys, there's way, way more to weight loss than trying to exercise your way down the scale. In fact, right here on screen, I've got everything you need to know about losing weight at 50 and beyond. Let's go ahead and open it up and close it up. Give yourself a nice big hug and a pat on your sweaty back. Oh my gosh, what a great, great job you did today. I do have an extended cool down here for you on screen as well. If you would like just a little bit more walking, a little bit more stretching, a little bit more cooling down. Ah, no matter which one you choose, you did such a great job today. Thank you so, so much for working out with me. I'm gonna be here for the next six days for our seven day monthly challenge series. Oh my gosh, so make sure that you subscribe and I'll see you tomorrow.